Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that the popular Windows Bypass app, FlyOOBE, now supports ISO upgrades, which makes it easier to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked back then when I posted the latest version 1.2, introduced Preview OOBE Windows designed to work with Microsoft's media creation tool and Rufus. Check the video out for more information. Now, just to let you know that there's a new version. So the app has been bumped up to 1.3 now. And there's one or two nice improvements in the latest release. So just to go through these quickly, just to keep you guys posted. There's a new OOBE view that now lets you set a default browser right after installation and even download a third-party browser if you want. And I think that's a nice move in the right direction. Personalization OOBE view now includes extra options like aligning the Windows 11 taskbar, left or center. Setup finalization extension view has been optimized and extended at its core. And another improvement is the header design now clearly shows which OOBE view is currently active. They've also improved DPI handling. According to the developer, there's lots of user interface polish and various minor bug fixes. And just a heads up, the developer says, as I mentioned in my previous video, Flyby 11 and Fly OOBE will be merged in a single project in an upcoming release. So obviously, if I get knowledge of that, I will let you guys know. And I'll leave this GitHub page linked in the description where you can get your hands on the new version 1.3. You can get classic fly by 11 as it was originally known and you can also get their media kit and as i've mentioned previously on the channel this has become a popular app which i know a lot of you are using so just to keep you guys posted like we like to do on the channel so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one